Hello everyone, welcome back to Vampyr. So now I have to reach the Doris Fletcher Theater, although I'm wondering what the hell happened with all the people who were sick and are now completely healthy. Oh, I could have something else in my, my hand. My Dragon's Bane is fine. How is it that I, I was able to swap weapons on the fly? Ah, whatever. My chapels... Who the... Dude. Seriously. Know when you're out of your league. Which is now. Yes, blood. You know what? I'm not even gonna waste my time on you. Just die. Holy crap, you are tough. No, pick up the... <sighs> really? Stupid scowls. Hi there. Oh, nice try. Stand still for a moment. There. Oh, god damn it. Seriously, Reed needs, needs to stop complaining. Is it me or is there no audio? Like, I don't hear any audio cues anymore. Must be a bug. Very annoying. Naturally. Stand still. Ah, that's the shield he's putting up. Oh, ran out of stamina, didn't even notice. Well, seriously? What the? Oh, you little prick. You know what? Just because of that. Yeah, there's no, no sound for voice lines. 
What the? How? Aw, oh, the shield. Right, it absorbs one hit, no matter how powerful the hit. And I'm gonna try alt tabbing out and back in. What will London have to say to me? Okay, that should hopefully fix it. Oh, for the love of God. Big one. Stand still. Nope, still no, no sound. I guess I'll be playing without sound then. What? It's locked, all right. Oh, for God's sake. How did I not unlock that shortcut? Yeah, yeah, serious, very serious. It's locked. Just trying to get back to that area so that I can unlock. Oh, not at full blood. Come here. I have this thirst for blood. Yes, I know. Reed, that's what makes you a vampire. Duh. <sighs> These newborns. Come on. So you set me on fire a little bit, who cares? Am I gonna have to kill everybody here, or what? Good. So Prewin never left Doris's theater after they invaded. They must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. Strong blood serum. I keep forgetting that I even have the serums because honestly, uh, I can usually just kill everything. Nice try, Dick. Please. Uh, 
there. Dr. Swansea. Dr. Swansea. Oh. Come here, juice box. Well, he, was, he seemed to be guarding this area. Maybe. Nope. And this door is it's locked, locked all right. of course. I know it's just a little bit of HP, but whatever. I guess he wasn't guarding, he was just standing there to distract me. Uh, catch me off guard, not distract me. Oh, there's another one. Hmm. Pretty sure I've gone around in circles. Oh, they're down. How do we get down? It's locked. Mm hmm. Okay, it's locked, but then how do I get down? Let's see here. I turn left. I guess I'll try heading straight. I believe I'm doing this. Ah, more enemies. Oh, one enemy. And now no enemies. go up to go down apparently. This is a very confusing place. No wonder it's shut down. Hmm. This would be going outside. All right. Yes, I know it was the, uh, the other way. I just wanted to thoroughly investigate everything. <clears throat> okay, then. There he is. I think. Wait, is that him or is he? St oh, he's still further down. That's the area where I came in. This is so confusing. I guess I'll head outside. Not really sure what to do here. Come on, load faster.
Let's see now. How the hell do I get there? Oh, not breakable. Which is silly. That's definitely by going in here. Now what? All these ends are locked, and yet he has perfect blood quality. Something's off. What the? Didn't I kill you? I guess die again? There's gotta be something I missed here, right? It's locked, all right. It's definitely here. I guess it must be the locked door, but where's the key? Oh god, don't tell me it's at his office and I completely missed it. That stick, bullet... New Doris Fletcher Diary. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I guess this means that I just didn't explore the area as well as I thought. So maybe there's a key somewhere. I can't believe I'm doing this. That was obviously a, a misclick. Let's see. There's 
nothing here. Yeah, the, the light is obviously hitting the door here. I'm supposed to go through there. But there's no key. <sighs> Where the hell is the key? I swear, if it's back at his office, I'm going to be pissed. Already checked this area. Maybe it's upstairs. Uh, you know where the. I <clears throat> know. Oh, yeah, this is what I meant. So. Not here either. Stairs. <sighs> Why don't vampire senses work for keys and stuff? Maybe here? Huh? Oh god, I can clip through these things. Why not just make everything breakable? Except the walls. This is it. <sighs> Nothing. Where the hell is that stupid key? Well, time to do something that I don't like to do, but has become a bit more habitual. I'm gonna pause the recording and look this up online because apparently uh, that's the only thing that I can do. I swear if it's in his office. Why would it even be in his office, though? But yeah, anyway, so I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So, apparently it's downstairs, main hall, the, uh, the area where I came in on the on the desk I I don't know how I missed it apparently I did but let's see so there's the search oh why was this I, I came up to here whatever I'm getting close to having all the evidence I'm not even gonna Dr. Swansea, I'm here to rescue you. You're not Swansea. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. Vampire Knight? Lady Blackwood. Hmm. 
other, blah, blah, blah. The Tear of Angels. Blood of a pure heart, garlic, blood of a king. I don't understand. Perhaps this is what McCallum drank. I had better keep that in mind. Well, if that's what he drank, it obviously didn't work. You know, I was still able to drink him. Didn't really do anything to him. Well, I guess it made him resistant to uh, the stake. Dr. Swansea, I'm here Edgar. to rescue you, blah blah blah. Edgar, can you hear me? Jonathan, is it really you? Well, it's either me or a damn good impersonator. Easy. Easy. Save your strength. I'm getting Dude, you just let him fall to the floor. What do you mean, save your strength? You could have picked him up, or, uh, sorry, grabbed him before he fell. No. Don't try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. Yeah, what do you mean, too late? Punctured lung, broken ribs, and internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? I could always turn you. You know, if you want. They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Jeffrey McCollum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. He was convinced you and I were responsible for the Skull epidemic. I never imagined that self-righteous fanatic would... dare to attack us in the open. What became of him? To prove him wrong, I let him go. Really? You sure that was the wisest course of action? Nope. Time will tell. The most intriguing part. I was of tempted to was turn him. You and I were the pawns of some ancient vampire. William Marshall. Yes, they. Who the hell is William Marshall? They tortured me to make me confess the same nonsense. I think you're hiding something, Edgar. Yeah. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? Jonathan, I, I cannot say I'm ready for another round of questions. I can always reach into your liver. What can you tell me about William Marshall? Not much. History paints the story he was the greatest knight who ever lived. Amongst the immortals, he had a yet greater legend. Why is the guard of Prewen so obsessed with him? He was the only ancient vampire to escape the first great hunt launched by the guard of Prewen in 1854. They believe he's an evil creature plotting his return. No, of course they do. Why would he deserve such a reputation? Very good question. I cannot say. The Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll has next to no intelligence on him. St. Paul Stoll? What kind of name is that? Oldest of all the British vampires. Hmm. Why would the guard of Prewen believe you and I created the vampire epidemic? Maybe due to our profession. Because I offered you shelter at my hospital. While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCullum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. Yes, Doctor. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Nothing at all. I'm gonna try that again. Do you remember when we suspected Sean Hampton of killing Harriet Jones? Yes. Yeah. The terrible episode that came as a shock to us all. Okay, so Harriet now he's just Jones criticizing my work. When I found her in the sewers, you know, this isn't as, as easy as you think, Doctor. To for what happened to her. That woman was extremely bitter, full of hatred and festering. Oh, damn it. Do you know Doris Fletcher's real name? No, I'm afraid not. 
Her real name was Doris Jones. She was the daughter of Harriet Jones. What do you want me to say, Jonathan? Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher once came to visit the sick. That's mm -hmm. all I know. Sure, Dr. No, Swansea. Edgar, there is more. Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones's daughter. They exhibited the same symptoms. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Come on, Edgar. Don't you see the pattern here? The epidemic? The link between Doris and Harriet? The suspicion of McCullum? How could I? I never saw Harriet Jones again after she fled the hospital. Mm-hmm. Do you know where we are? Doris Fletcher's theater. This is where that hateful creature plotted to spread the epidemic across London. I only briefly met Miss Fletcher once when she visited the Pembroke Hospital. And she was infected at the same time. What a weird coincidence. Seemed like such a... But could it be Lady Ashbury? My point exactly. The disease turned her into a bitter soul, driven by vengeance just nah. like her mother, a symptom of all the infected patients. Certain diseases are known to produce similar effects. Rabies, for example. And rabies is not the devil at work. Neither is this. Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. You did what? I you tested the regenerative idiot. healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Who's blood I should did drink you, you right now. Marshals? Mine? Lady Ashbury's. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my you research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. Right, I admit it, I boldly ventured into experimental realms, but I've killed no one to appease my thirst for knowledge, Jonathan. I'm no murderer. No, you just turned them into monsters. I am, Edgar. You chose to conduct your rogue experiments. You have worked beside me. You saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. You are not a victim. God damn it. So let him die. Let him die quicker. Or turn. You know what? I'm not even sure what to do here. Given what he did at the hospital, he was running experiments on patients. He should be, uh, should die, probably, because he turned Harriet into a, a monster. Uh, on the other hand, he is a pillar of the community. So if I let him die, the uh, the place is going to go to hell. At the same time, you know, you know what? Screw it. Yes. I'm drinking him. Your death is imminent, Doctor Swansea, but I swear it will be quick. Uh, uh, I already told you to call me Edgar. Am I no longer your friend? No. I believe you never have been, sir. You have lied to me at every step and betrayed the trust of a woman I cherish. Exactly. You and the lady? Really? Well, I should have seen it coming, I suppose. May I add that I welcome this? The biting, I mean. You have your wish. Is it going to hurt? 
I always wondered if you could... The answer is yes, it hurts. The issue isn't even that he betrayed me, it's the running experiments on patients. Can't be excused or forgiven. Hint failed. A lot of hints failed. Well, uh, I'll just try to find my way out of here. I don't know why I came this way. And after that, I'm ending the episode. Oh right, he also criticized my work. <clears throat> so you know, that, that's biting. Well, anyway, <clears throat> that is it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again next time.